All right, welcome to Mr. Myasis' uh, video. And um, in this video, I am going to go over solving a system of equations using an augmented matrix. Um, so I have three examples. I, I recommend maybe trying a few on your own. If you're just learning this for the first time, then maybe look at the first one. Try the next one on your own before looking at the solution. Just pause it and then go through it. So the first one I'm going to do is this system of equations here. Now, first we want to change this to an augmented matrix. So to change this to an augmented matrix, I'm going to put the three here, the negative five here, negative eight. And I like to put a dotted line, a dashed line. Some teachers do that. Some teachers don't. I like to put a dashed line just to, to kind of indicate that that's where my equal sign is. Okay, so I'm putting the coefficients, the coefficients of my system of equations into my matrix. And this is called an augmented matrix. So now I'm going to do a series of row reductions to, um, to get this into um, to my identity matrix form. 1, 0, and 1, 0, 0, 1. Um, so a couple of rules here. You can flip any two rows, and you can uh, multiply any row. You can add any row. You just cannot multiply or add single elements or add a number into a single row. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do first. We want this one to be right here. So I'm going to flip these two rows and I'm going to have, so I'm going to switch just above. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch row one with row two. Okay, so I'm going to have one, two, one, and three negative 5, negative 8. And notice here that now I have a 1 in the top, which is what I wanted. Remember that the goal here, the goal here is to get 1, 0, and some number, and 0, 1, and some number. Okay? So we're going to do this one first, then get the 0, then move on to get this one, and then get the 0. So we're going to kind of go this way, this way, and that way. So here we go. Uh, we got the one there. Now, in order to do to get this three to be a zero, I'm going to need to multiply this top right here by negative three, and then add these two rows. So I'm going to take the first row, and I'm going to multiply it by negative three. I'm going to add it to the second row, and then that should replace the second row. Okay. So what I like to do is take and multiply by negative three, and just write it either right underneath or on top, very small. Um, so I'm going to have negative 3, let me see if I can write that, um, negative 6, and negative 3. And I'm going to add these two together, just this one and this one here. So I'm going to have, um, the top stays the same, and negative 3 plus 3 is 0, so I'm going to have 0. Negative 5 and negative 6 is negative 11. And negative 8 and negative 3 is also negative 11. Okay. So now I want to make this a 1. So in order to make this a 1, I'm going to multiply. I'm actually just going to divide this entire row. So I'm going to take row uh, 2 and I'm going to divide it by negative 11. And I'm going to replace row 2 with that. So I'm going to get... 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1. I divided both of these by negative 11. Okay, now I'm going to take and I'm going to multiply this row by negative 2 and add these two together here. So I'm going to take row 2, multiply by negative 2, add it to row 1, and replace row 1. Okay, so let me do that. So I'm going to take this and get 0, negative 2 and negative 2, and I'm going to add these two together, okay? Um, remember that we're going to leave the bottom row the same. So 1 and 0 is 1, 2 and negative 2, 0, and 1 and negative 2 is negative 1, 0, 1, 1, and we get our answer. So our answer is going to be x equals negative 1 y equals 1. And we want to put that in an ordered pair. So this is going to be our answer. 
Okay, so that is using row reduction um, and the Gauss-Jordan method to solve a system of equations. So I have two more examples. I'm going to run through those very quickly. If this is all you needed, you can just go ahead and stop the video now. Uh, but if you want to work on the other two and maybe get a um, get some practice in, I would recommend it. So let me scroll down to the next problem. So here's the problem. If you want to try it first, you can go ahead and pause it and then replay the video. Okay, so um, again, changes to the augmented matrix. Negative 3, 10, 5, 2, 7, 24. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to add these two. Add these two, add these two. Because that will give me a negative 1 here, and then all I have to do is divide by a negative. Okay? So let me just uh, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just add these two. So I'm going to add row 1 and row 2. that here. So that's going to give me negative 1, 17, 29, and my bottom row stays the same. Now just for simplicity, I'm just going to already multiply this by negative, okay? So I'm going to multiply that by negative. I could just erase this negative and then make this negative, make this negative. Now I'm going to, it looks like I'm going to need to uh, get a zero here, I'm going to need to multiply this row by 2, negative 2, and then add there. So let's go ahead and do that. So multiply by negative 2, I'm going to get negative 2, positive 34, and positive um, 58. Okay, these numbers look like they're getting kind of big here. All right. So then we're going to keep the top row the same. And the bottom row is going to give me a zero here. And it looks like it's going to give me 41 and 82. Well, that's nice, this and this divide out. So I can divide both of these by 41. And if I do that, I'll get 1, negative 17, and 0, 1, 2. Okay, that's nice. Now we're going to get, um, we're going to need to get the 17 out of here. So in order to get that 17 out of there, I'm going to need to take and divide and multiply this by positive 17, and then add these two rows together. So let's go ahead and do that. I think I picked purple instead of black, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to get 1, and add these two together and get 0, add these two together and get 5, and the bottom row stays the same. And we did it. Got the answer. 5, 2. So x equals 5, y equals 2 or in an ordered pair, 5 comma 2, and that's our answer. Okay, so I got one last one for you. If you want to stick around, if you think that you got it, go ahead and you can stop the video, or you could try one more as practice and, um, and pause it after that. So here's the next one. So I'm going to take and get my colors right here. Um, I'm going to take and turn this into an augmented matrix 1 negative 2 negative 8 2 negative 1 negative 7 uh, looks like this is already a 1 so we're good let's uh, multiply the top by negative 2 and add so we're gonna get negative 2 um, 4 and 16 I know I picked the wrong color for that one didn't I guys sorry about that um, all right, so then we're going to replace row two. So we're going to add these two together and get zero. Add these two together and get three. Add these two together and get nine. Then divide both these by three, the whole row, by the way. Divide the whole row by three. One, negative two, negative eight. 
whole row by three. Multiply the bottom row now by two and add. So let's go and do that. Multiply the bottom row by two, negative two. We're gonna add these two together. And so when we add those two together, we're gonna get the bottom row stays the same. We're gonna get zero and negative 14. And so, there's our answer, but I think I made a mistake somewhere. Um, oh, I made a mistake right here. This should be positive six. And this should be positive two. It's trying to go too fast there. So um, this is not 14 because we're doing positive six, positive two. And so we're gonna have um, negative two. Okay, so X is negative two, Y is positive three, negative two comma three, and that's our answer. So that's it. Thanks for coming by. See you later.